Gonzalez here welcoming you to another edition of UCLA Next. That's right, folks. And this one is an all-star salute to me. Say what? Yeah, let her have a spotlight. We're running her very own piece on the Harley-Davidson love ride. Yeah. You ride a hog? Let's not get personal, okay? We will, however, hmm. join 30,000 bikers and tons of celebrities who show up at the annual event benefiting muscular dystrophy. Oh, yeah. Was my boy Jay Leno from The Tonight Show there? Why, yes, he was, Miles. Yeah, you know they're hiring over there. Why don't you go ahead and make it. Hey there, I'm Yvonne De La Rosa and welcome to La La Land. Today, we are in Glendale, California for the Harley-Davidson Love Ride. Today there's over 30,000 bikers here and they're all here to support muscular dystrophy which is a wonderful cause. Thank you all for helping muscular dystrophy. My grandmother had it and uh, I'm really touched that you all... And why are we here? Well because this is part of the LA community and we wanted to show you know UCLA students and those at large that there's more to LA than meets the eye so let's go see what's going on. <coughs> Can I ask you a question? <laughs> What's your name? My name's Mark. Hey, Mark. We're looking for UCLA Bruins today. Are you a UCLA Bruin? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm an SC fan, actually. But yeah. Why are you guys USC fans? Because her brother went to USC. Yeah, so your niece is going to go to UCLA? Our niece is looking forward. Her name is Kamiko, and she's looking forward to going to UCLA. Mm -hmm. Now, be honest now that she's not listening. Uh -huh. If you had your druthers, would you have gone to UCLA? If I had my drugs, yeah, I probably would have went to UCLA. I know, I yeah, sense you know. yeah. <laughs> And I would have thought you knew this by heart. By I know. I, well, you, know. <laughs> you know, this is the business you're in. You should know, know it. You really should know this by heart. Hi, what's your name? Joy Gleason. And uh, are you a UCLA Bruin, perchance? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I know you have to use the restroom, oh, but can yeah, I ask you a quick question? Sure. <laughs> because <laughs> <ask anything>. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, we're from UCTV, and we're actually looking for Bruins today amongst the crowd. Okay. So uh, UCLA Bruins. Okay. So I, was I just... love the UCLA. In fact, my, my bike is the Bruins colors. Oh, really? Silver and black. Road King Classic. Awesome. So where are you from? Oh, Santa Clarita. What do you think of LA? I love it. <laughs> I'm looking for UCLA Bruins. Are you a Bruin? No, I'm from Seattle. Oh, <laughs> Huskies, baby. <laughs> you wouldn't be willing to give a shout out to the UCLA Bruins, would you? A shout out? Yeah, you know, like go Bruins. Go Bruins? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm supposed to shout it? No, just in your own uh, personal way. Here we are at Jay Leno's bike waiting for Jay. He should be out any minute now, and I sense Jay Leno is on his way. Hey, Yvonne de la Rosa here again, and we are waiting for Jay Leno right next to Jay Leno's bike. Here's his bike. Check it out. That's Jay Leno behind us right now. Let's see what he has to say. Hey Jay, Yvonne from UCLA, UC Hello. TV. Can from you give UCLA a UCLA TV? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Can you give a shout out to the nice Bruins? Nice to see you dressed uh, for the dress for the event. I always uh, do. Yes, yeah, well good luck to the Bruins. To the Bruins. Yeah, go UCLA Bruins. Go UCLA Bruins. <laughs> Ray, thank you Thanks. so much. <laughs> well, we got a shout out and um, now Jay's getting on his bike and he's going to take off and we're going to see him start the parade as the Grand Marshal of the Harley-Davidson Love Ride. Take everybody to Marshall and say hi. Thank you very much for coming. Alright, this is the official beginning of the Harley-Davidson Love Ride where 30,000 bikers are now taking off to Castaic Lake where they're all going to hang out, have food, party with the stars and celebrities and raise money 
for an amazing cause, muscular dystrophy. I'm looking for Bruins amongst the biker crowd. Bruins? What are Bruins? UCLA Bruins. Oh, I'm a Cornhusker, so I couldn't tell you. Have you seen any Bruins? I haven't. Uh, can we hear a shout out for UCLA Bruins? No. No? You're not a Bruin fan? LA Bruins. You don't have to. It's okay. <laughs> I got my degree from, but not. okay, go Bruins. Okay, wait, stop. You got your degree from UCLA? I'm looking for a Bruin, and you're a Bruin, and you don't want to admit it? Why? Well, I'm not riding with the Bruins group. I ride with the Harley group. Oh, but that's okay. We're just looking for UCLA graduates. We found a UCLA Bruin amongst the crowd of 30,000 bikers at the Harley-Davidson Love Ride. Huh? How's that, huh? Some kudos. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Outstanding piece. So, you ride a hog. Why do you keep asking me that? Oh, I don't know. You know, part of it just makes me a little giddy. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> take much to thrill him. Hmm. You know, how come they never send me out, you know, on town about an assignment, please? You know? Because you have that focus problem, which is why I'll be introducing the next piece, a conversation with Chrissy Zartman, a UCLA student who didn't let her pint-sized stature keep her from becoming a world champion of beach volleyball. Beach volleyball. <laughs> Girls in shorts on the beach with balls. Um, see, this is the type of story I should be out there covering. You know what I'm saying? Beach ball. People bring it up to me. I'm like, oh, really? That's right. <laughs> my sister was really short too, and and my mom too. My mom was short too, so I have people to look up to that were short. <laughs> yeah. I began playing volleyball because I was always around it with my family. My parents both played and coached it, so I was just always around it. I chose volleyball at UCLA because um, I knew the coaches here and I knew that they were really nice people and really good coaches. And um, I came my visit and I met the girls and they were all really nice and really good players and it's a great school um, with great academics so it kind of has the all around package. <laughs> Our coaches are great. They're, yeah, they're such nice people and they, they really want us to learn. Like, they want us to win but they also want us to learn and to have fun and, and it's not even all about volleyball. They want us to learn in life and, and in volleyball so it's really like a good all around, they're good all around people and coaches. I love my teammates. They're such nice girls. We're kind of like sisters, so it's fun. I really like them a lot. I think I'm pretty, as a player, I'm pretty um, laid back, but at the same time competitive. Like, I want to get the job done, but at the same time, I, it's not like the biggest thing in life after it's over. While I'm playing, I give it my all and I give it 100%, but when it's over, it's over and you can't dwell on it. You just learn from it and move on. In order to prepare for a game, I just kind of warm up and do the whole thing. I like I mentally prepare. I think about what I have to do and um, what needs to be done, but I don't spend a lot of time analyzing and going over. I just kind of, kind of get after it when it's time to play. I think games are just a way to show how hard you've worked in practice. I think it brings out the best in people. I really like playing volleyball. I don't really feel any pressure when I'm out there. I think. Um, when you feel pressure, that's when you don't play as well. So I just see it as a way to have fun with my teammates and be competitive and um, just work hard at a game I like. We always try to win, but it's not about the, the medals and the accolades. If you get a medal, that's great. And if you don't, oh well, it's, it's not really what I think the sport's about. I really like hitting, 
but um, I don't do that anymore, which is fine because I've accepted my role as playing in the back row, and I think that's the best way I can help contribute because we have a lot of good hitters on our team, so I, I like my position. Trace Lindquist is my beach partner. Well, we played together since I was like eight and she was like 11. She's so good. She's She like fights all the time for every play. Like she's just so competitive. And then off the court, she's so nice. She's she's a really nice girl. I like her a lot and she's a great volleyball player. We just have really good chemistry. Like we, we know where each other's gonna be and because we've been playing for so long together. My parents never pressure me. Like they always say like you can like when I was growing up, it was always, you can play if you want, but if you don't want to, like we understand, just like they say when you start something, you should finish it. They're such nice people, like I love them, they're, they're great. I'm not quite sure what I want to do after UCLA. I, I might want to play um, on the beach on the world tour, or, um, or I might want to get a job. I'm not sure what I want to do yet, but hopefully that's what I'll figure out soon. <laughs> Movie time! Are you going to share? <laughs> Oh, so now you're going to be nice to me now that I'm the man with the cone. Come on, Miles. <laughs> you know, hand over the, the corn and uh, I'll tell you all about my hog. <laughs> really? Sure. <laughs> but only until we take a second look at Alfred Hitchcock's rope. It's really scary. I'll say murder, intrigue, a dead guy in a trunk. Ooh, stay close, ladies. Stay very close. <laughs> Nasty bras, buddy. <laughs> <laughs>
In ways distinctive to the movies and not theater, the camera is in constant motion throughout the film, darting in and out among the party guests as if it had a life of its own. At times, it seems to have a mind of its own as well, being willfully uncooperative and keeping us from seeing what we most want to know. The result is heightened drama. One of my favorite scenes shows on screen the housekeeper dutifully clearing the trunk of dishes so that she can open it to put some books in. Off screen, we hear the voices of Rupert, Philip, and Brandon speculating aloud where the missing David could possibly be. The tension builds as we wonder whether someone will spot the housekeeper at work before she uncovers the body. But based on what we don't see, the camera builds tension and keeps us guessing. This creative interplay of off-screen dialogue with on-screen visual composition is what's called cinematic storytelling. It's what great directing is all about. And it's just one of the many reasons why Alfred Hitchcock's Rope is a film well worth a second look. Hmm. We should rent that tonight, huh? You know, have us a little Alfred Hitchcock Film Festival, you know, uh, eat popcorn, talk about hogs. Sorry, busy, washing my hair. Fine, I'll just have to ask Costanza. Our campus explorer, good luck with that. She can't even seem to find a parking space. Mm. Shut up. On UCLA. We're here today. We're trying to find a parking spot so we can get out there and find someone to interview and find out what's their opinion on their parking on UCLA. My hometown, like, I, sometimes I drive the, up from Irvine. Yeah. <laughs> How long does it take? It's like three hours or My so. Gosh. Yeah. And do you have a permit to stay here? No, I didn't get a permit. So you pay every day? Yeah, I pay every day. So the know. daily permit is seven dollars. Yeah, daily permit is seven and meter is like quarter and eight minutes and yeah, that's insane. Exactly. And yeah. <laughs> it's very insane. There's no parking spots guys. We need to get into the parking lot somehow. So if that works then then we can illegally park there. Gosh, the thing went up. Let's go get him. Oh my god, it went no. down again. Why don't we try another side? Yes, that sounds good. Yeah. Oh sorry sir, we have to back up. Now all the cars are pissed off at oh us. Oh my god. Because we can oh sir, I'm so <laughs> sorry. Take your... No, it's okay. Sure? Go sir. Sorry about that. I have a night permit actually, but uh, I usually take a bus. And you can park uh, for which time? Um, night permit is usually after 4.30 uh, for most of the lots. Services, but they audited me and they revoked my parking privileges. 
So now I have it in the department. <laughs> Well, folks, that's it for now. See you next week. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> um, oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute. What? She can't leave yet. Why not? Well, because I'm not done. What about Alfred Hitchcock? Yes, you are. Come back and see us for another edition of UCLA next. Out of here. Oh, hey. Where are you going?